Hi guys, Dennis here with Historicore. Just wanted to point out a couple of the tools that we use here on projects when we're lifting buildings. So this is a hydraulic jack, which you probably would recognize and see at any of your auto supply stores. This one is leaking and honestly, a lot of them are leaking. They tend to fail um, and they don't, they don't have a long life in the field with Historicore. So what we prefer is to use screw jacks, which are fantastic. And as you can see, this one is a, as a simplex, it's, it's an antique. Um, it's hard to find these actually. So this one was donated to Historicore by Bobby Joe Evans. So we appreciate that. And when we were cleaning it up, you know, it was a bit, it was a bit rustic looking like the other ones down the line, but as we were cleaning it up, we noticed that there was some um, a hairline fracture. I'm not sure if I can point it out right there. And so that was concerning. We decided to convert this one to a museum piece. So it lives inside and you can see the threads are dry. They're clean, but they're a bit dry and you'd want those to be lubricated if you were actually going to be putting a load on top but a great tool and it, it has a nice home with some of our other museum pieces. So what I wanted to discuss today was the screw jack and some of the just basic maintenance you have to do to them. If you go down the line, you can see, you know, like I said earlier, this one has been cleaned, whereas these, these just came back from the field. These were also donated by a volunteer named Jim Redmond. So I wanted to say thanks to you, Jim. Um, so they're all in different degrees of, of use, let's say. You can see the oil on this one, which is great, but it's also got a bit of debris that's collected along with it. And while it will function, it just turns a little bit harder than we want it to. And if we had a big load on this, that would be kind of a bear. And this one's dry, so this one would be even harder. The one down the line here, the simplex at the end, this one is probably in my opinion, this one's just got a little excess of grease on it, but good to go. This one is ready to go back in the field. So if you have a lot of oil or grease on your threads, you might want to just take a rag and clean it off because what that's going to do is it's going to collect, you know, dirt and debris, especially if you're working under a house, it'll tip over when it's not in use and dirt will just stick to it. So today we're going to kind of clean these up and show you how we do that. If these were really nasty, you could soak them in a solvent, you know, in a one gallon, three gallon, five gallon bucket. But we're not gonna do that today. These aren't terrible. Just a little, a little cleaning will go a long way. And you can see it's got oil on there. It's a little gummed up down there. That's obviously harder to clean. If you have um, an air compressor or some other way to blow it out, that's handy. So you're just gonna wanna grab a rag and get all the excess debris off. In this case, a little bit of oil. And something to point out too is we're not we're not aiming for perfection here. These are gonna go back into the field. We want them serviceable. Perfection is, it's just kind of man-made. Doesn't really exist. So once we have that somewhat dry, I mean, I could spend more time, but I'm gonna focus on some of this crud here on the top. And so what I've done is I've grabbed a wire brush, several different types of wire brushes, but I also have an attachment for a drill. So what you can do here, you can put it in a vise if you want. You can see how shiny that got just in a few minutes. If you're not comfortable with using that particular tool, guys can see that very well. You can do it the old-fashioned way. It's just a lot more elbow grease. Okay, so we're back to the point now where we have it clean and we just need to put some lubrication on our threads. And there's a couple different ways you can do this, but 
Um, the one I kind of like is just to take a chip brush, and this is actually just motor oil. Um, there's lots of different ways you can do it. You could use grease. The motor oil, though, is a little bit thinner, and so it's going to work those threads a little bit faster. And then I'll wipe off all the excess. So I will do this a couple of times, and then when I'm done, and I know all the male and female ends of this are unified, I will just wipe off the excess with a relatively clean rag. But it's already moving a lot better. And something else I wanted to point out is uh, we had some feedback from one of the volunteers saying they kept losing um, the rebar that we use with our screw jacks. So when we're lifting a building, you might not have the ability to do a full 360 because the building will be in the way, but this is kind of the technique. And someone said, boy, we kept losing these because they're, they were rusty and they were blended in with the dirt. So we took their suggestion and painted them. Thank you, whoever made that suggestion. We don't profess to be absolute experts in our field. We just want people to care about saving places. Part of the way we do that is to use specific tools for the trade. Screw jacks are just part of that. Well, thanks for joining us.